Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Daily message in here, loves. Let's see what we have and, of course, where we go. November 3rd. Almost, almost new moon. As you know, loves, the new moons brings the new energies. As well, the new moons are great to manifest the things you are want, expected, and feel that you deserve to come to you in the next period of time. But let's see here what this day brings to you and where we are heading. I have the spirit animal oracle for you and the, the tarot. I believe this is the gilded tarot royale. Let's see, loves. I will go first with the oracles and then we'll go with the energies from the tarot. Let's see, loves. And as well, I got a small surprise for all of you in the new moon which is tomorrow i'll keep you updated and i'll keep you posted as well keep your eyes open because that's coming i am feeling quite excited since is a new energy coming and much more on the way as you know loves i get quite excited since I'm sharing all this because evolving and growing you feel that you want more not only for you but for others in being in this energy of helping I always try different ways so what I'm speaking about is for tomorrow daily message which I will bring to you and this exciting news will be there. So stay with me there, loves. All right. I can't speak more, but I'm already, already in this energy. But here you go. The number 68, the Wombat Spirit, be at home. The Author Spirit, the 42. You are never alone. And many of you, when you realize that you are never alone, then you will see how much support you have. And for some of you, you might go the easy way, otherwise, other of you, the hard way. But always, always know you are never alone. That bad girl spirit number four, be fearless and bold. Never ever fear, because fear is like love. Fear is like peace. Fear is like joy. On the contrary or the same, it's a feeling. It's an energy. And again, what you feed, that's what you get. And freedom is yours. The number 33 here, the horse spirit. As you see here, we have six, six, four, six, eight, double fours, and 64 here. There's a new energy here coming for some of you, and this could be regards your balance your stability or the relationships you are in. Number six speaks very, very strong about the relationships balance. Number four is about stability. Number eight is the double stability, double standards. You gotta do probably sometimes the work double. And number three, as we have here, it's a universal energy. You can do it. So here you are, my loves. Many of you, my, my struggle right now, you don't need to fear of whatever it's coming because 
you are the one, you are your own ruler. And with the universe cooperation, with the universe help, you're getting where you need to be. Believe it or not. Let's see loves. What do we have from the tarot? And how the energies are. There is movement. And indeed here, many of you, you do know you are in a continuous move. Slower, faster, yes you are. You are never in a static position. You are never into, I'm not moving at all. Yes, you are. You might move like the wind, like the energy, like the whatever is there. And for others of you, you might move like, you know, like a turtle, like a snail. But we are always move. Slower or faster depends on us, depends on our circumstances, depends many factors out there. Here is loves, Knight of Pentacles. Indeed here there is move. Quite slow, but the fact I like the, the Knight of Pentacles, even it's slower, it's still the move. And also Pentacles speaks about safe energy. I'm going slow because I want safety. And for others of you, you're going slow because you, you want to see that where you're going is exactly where you need. It's like, I want to go slow to see, and then I will proceed faster. Page of Cups. Two of Pentacles and Three of Cups. Strength out there. Whatever it is here, you got it. Because strength is like you can do whatever you want to. As well, strength spe speaks that you can overcome any obstacle ahead of you. Don't have a doubt. I might speak here with the Leo, but I'm feeling here. They are, could be two people or just one person want to go towards somebody and is not quite sure will, will be okay, will not be okay, but it's kind of like, even though I can't do it now. Somebody here who is thinking of something for a very long time now gets that strength, that courage to go forward. That's a love. Tower, Seven of Pentacles, Sun, wow, Star, Three of Swords, Queen of Wands, Devil, Wheel of Fortune, and the High Priestess. Goodness, look how many major canons. Whatsoever, just let you know, loves, whoever I'm speaking right now, whoever I'm reading, you are about to overcome a karmic cycle with somebody. All right, loves. And might not be the best out of the best, but goodness, it's such a a wide opening portal now to you or you are opening up for millions billions of possibilities and you know you know loves after a very long time the universe or you feel that the universe finally has it back and indeed here it is. What I see here, loves, strength, the first major arcana, itch, which is under the deck or at the bottom of the deck. But somebody here decides something. It's like, I decide to do this and done it all. 
But look at here in the past, energy tower, star, and the devil. These are very sexual cards, sexual energy, one next to another. So somebody here needed to overcome something. Could be a dependent energy, could be a situation they've been into, but I feel here was not emotional energy. Because in the emotion energy, in the cups, emotions are cups, we have a page and we have three of cups, which speaks about friendships, not about, hey, I love you, I care. And three of swords here, somebody here could mix intimacy, sex with love and could need a very long time to understand what was all that about or could need a, it's like a very long time till they understand how to move on or how to basically overcome this karmic cycle and that only is listen to your inner voice that you can be happy after a very long time. Look at here, loves. I have Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, double Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces. Somebody could have Sun in Pisces, Sun in Scorpio. Okay. But yes, after a long time, whatever was here, quick, happen quick. Because Tower, it's a very quick energy, very quick coming, going. But I feel here, whatever happened quick marked somebody for a very long time. But I don't see here for way too long. What I see here, somebody here got very, very hurt. Three of Swords. This is a heartbreak energy here. And also could be a third party or a juggling energy here. Somebody here is just kind of like they, they were into friendship, they were not into love connection. But looking here, like the person could have the L or start with L. As you see here, look at the major arcanas. They are in a form of L, Larry, Leanne, Lori, you see the number, the, the letter L here. It's like a square. For some of you, you could be square connecting, which I mean, for example, could be a Virgo and a Pisces, a Virgo and a Gemini, a Virgo and a Sag. And vice versa, Sag and a Virgo, Sag and like the square ones. Very, very connecting. So indeed here, that was a portal opening. Also what I'm seeing here for some of you, this person, even they hurt you very much, they actually open you to a new portal, to a new life, to see your life in a different perspective. So yeah, let's see here, some clarifications here for the tower first thing first. Knight of Cups, Hangman, and Ace of Cups. So 
So as you see here, loves, somebody here offer their cup of love. And again, we're going to Pisces energy. Even somebody here offered the cup of love. They knew that this might not go the way the other person feels or knows. Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Somebody here could wait for an explanation or something like that. But as much as they wait, hurt very much. Emperor. And I feel here this was somebody here quite like, you know, I'll stay here. It's very much like... Because I think I deserve this. And also for some of you, somebody here could find out the other person when not who they show they are. Three of Swords. Temperance. That was healing. And also this was a past life energy. Reconciling with you. Because when I say also this is a very small clarification for many of you. When I say this is a past person. There might not be a past person you met here in this life. Okay. Because sometimes yes you can meet or you can reconcile with somebody you've been dealing. Sometimes you can reconcile with somebody who you've been dealing in another past life. May not even be in a previous, but could be two, three life before this one. Keep in mind that. But also for some of you, needed a lot of healing around your heart chakra. The damage created was quite big and could be quite expensive for some of you who been quite stubborn doing so. No, I'm not gonna do this and I will go through and it's okay and it's always very, very important to do the healing part. One more card. Five of Pentacles. Being left out. And Five of Pentacles, yes, speaks about left in, be left out. But feeling out in the cold, that's mean you... You feel like a very ignoring, indifferent energy from whatever you had. But that very much speaks not that the other person, because many times is the way we think, the way we approach the things. Because sometimes I found out that Many times in the relationships might not be such a big drama. Might be a very simple thing to re be resolved. But we many times love to create that craziness. That dramatic look. That dramatic thing. And feel like the world is done. But it is not. Exactly when you feel the world is over, you got to think like the sun. Actually, it's about to start. This is just about the start. Through the light. Because believe it or not, and I've been through certain things in my life and I understood later on that Whatever it's cracked, you see the light. If we're not that crack, you never could see the light. And that also are the signs from the universe to be paid attention. As well, that the universe always try to put you on the right path. Only if you follow the signs. 
the energies, the feelings. Because many of you might feel, well, I'm stuck in this situation for so long and this and that. Ask yourself, did you see any signs? Yes, maybe. Did you follow them? And so on. One more card, Spirit, thank you. Empress. Emperor and Empress. For some of you, you knew that in another past life you've been together. And finding out that this person is taken or they choose somebody over you, that was the thing. Or the major thing here. But you know, the freedom was yours. Let's see here what the devil was for. For some of you, you've been dealing here with somebody who with certain addictions. And that's why you probably didn't have any or you were not really into any kind of this. And that's why the universe tried to tell you, no, 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 my love, you are not going to stay here. I don't want you to stay here. The devil, three of wands. The universe tried to detach from all this. Because look at it here, we have three of swords, three of wands, three of cups. Three of pentacles is missing. The universe tried to explain to you this it will not work. This will not putting effort together. It's kind of you two are not working. You are not connected in that way to to be like a team. Understand what I'm saying, loves? That's why the universe told you, look, you might say, well, I didn't manifest this. This was the dream. But the universe is telling you, yes, you are about to get your manifestation right after you are getting away from this. See the bigger picture. Be patient. Wait a little bit and see for yourself. It's kind of like get a little bit on like from a side and see it. All right, loves. See it. And decide. Okay, loves. Let's see here. What your intuition were speaking to you. As you see here, we have the the star and the, um, the temperance. There are two healing cards here. There is new beginning. There is movement. What's the intuition speaks to you, loves? Leave that behind. Five of Cups speaks about the past. Leave that behind. And open up your heart to a swords as well. Not only your heart, but your eyes. It's kind of you don't need to cry silently. You can vent out to the universe so you can move forward. Don't hold it back. Let it go and move forward. Eight of Wands speaks about see the flow. 
An eight of wands is kind of like, don't hold back, communicate. Don't close yourself. That's not the solution. The solution is to get out, whatever it is, and see the freedom the universe is offering you. Nine of wands, don't resist because you know where you're going. Death, you are transforming loves. And indeed here, knowing this transformation, to so see here, the death card very much speaks about endings, new beginnings, transformation. And with the High Priestess, you know this is going to happen. You know deeply. And the Sun, a new beginning, a rebirth, a new you, a brand new you is emerging. Feel that. All right, loves. Let's see here. Also, I get a message here for some of you. Whoever you've been dealing and you have a big fallout. And yes, you moved on or you try to move on. And I feel here you are. There is a person here slowly, but truly they coming forward after a lot of doubt. So you will have a new opportunity to meet this person and could be the communication that will free you. Because for some of you, you block communication with this person. And I do see here there is coming communication. There is like, there is, it's not an apology, but I see more like an explanation why and what happened and things like that. And that will change a lot of things afterwards. For some of you, this person didn't knew in the beginning what you will mean to them over the long run or over the time. It's kind of took them a long time to process certain things. But yes, loves, that's coming. Let's hear a potential advice in all this and whatever situation you are, if we can have an advice. What do we have here, Spirit? Thank you. Magician. You can do, you can act whatever you want and how you want. One more card. And whatsoever for many, many of you, you did manifest this person. They manifested you. Could it be then, could it be now. Only you love snow. Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. For many, many of you, if you've been manifesting um, a new beginning, the universe offers you this gift. Because Ace of Pentacles, this is a gift given to you, manifested. And if this new beginning you manifested, and ask the universe, this is happening quite fast or will go by very fast. Very different energy here. But there is a new cycle. If you did manifest somebody here to come to you, could be 
an old energy, could be a new energy. This is a whole new cycle. So here we are, loves. Ten of Cups is the next one. So I have two very different energies here coming up. It's clear that somebody here manifests something real, something stable, something good, or even a twin flame. I know many of you is just like, I don't want to deal with any of them. But that's the energy picking up, loves. If you don't want to use the twin flame energy, this is a very happy energy coming to you. And you know. And I feel here my catch of guard because it's gonna be fast. Knight of Swords for me is a Gemini energy. Full moon in Gemini we have at the end of the year. In 2021 in December. So if you've been manifesting here for a year or for a year and 10 months, that's coming. For others of you, if you now start manifesting some something, somebody, this is coming. Okay? I see one year and 10 months. For some of you, in October started. Or if you did manifest in October on a new moon in Libra, as we have the Knight of uh, Swords here, Air Energy. Now it's coming. So it's quite huge. But for sure it's very different than what you got before. So I'm going to tell you this, loves. Your life is about to change. In a whole new direction. Ready or not, loves. But I feel here, you'll feel quite like, how come? But be at home very much speaks to me that be you. Don't try to show a mask or to try to be different. You see, look at this. The next card is be loyal for what you love. All right, loves. And it speaks the 19, which is a new cycle here. Clear the clutter. 28, number one. So do you go ahead, start, move. But never ever forget who you truly are. As well, the key for this is consistency. Why I'm saying that? Because we missing here one night, the Knight of Wands, which Knight of Wands, with all respect to the Sagittarius, I am a Sagittarius son as well. The Knight of Wands is that knight who is free to do whatever they want. One thing they are lacking, consistency. Okay? So that is for you to pay attention. And other thing here is, see how consistent whoever is there or how you are consistent. For others of you is consistency and effort. How that is speaks to you. And whatever you manifest because Many of you, you could manifest, I want just somebody, you know, be there for me. If you are into manifestations or you are manifesting love, something real, stable, be very clear. I want commitment. I want marriage with that person. I want that person to be first thing first free, healed. And to be willing to work, you know, be as much specific. Because some people is like, I just want commitment. But commitment could come with a person who is in a third party. Commitment could come with somebody who works a lot. So they want something real. But what kind of commitment they offer 
over there because it's a some sort of commitment but might not be the one you clearly are looking at all right loves so be very very into what specifically you are putting there i will look really quick where's the knight of wands in the deck and what are those cards around us to see more energy information about okay loves where are you at it seems that not showing up okay here it is all right so we do have the eight of cups knight of wands and ace of wands what i gonna say to you loves whoever is this person is quite hungry if you manifest somebody here this person might left a very yucky situation a very rotten relationship or something here which were not fulfilling to them be very careful who they are what they are and it's a very very fast energy here it's like euphoric energy knight of wands and ace of wands again this person it's quite hungry so that's for you to pay attention and detect is this person ready is this person wants just to be free or you loves could be that one who looks forward or be inspired to move forward if you are the one who leaves this situation and you feel like well i'm not fulfilled where i am i'm ready go forward because it's very very much strong energy be clear for yourself be honest that's be at home energy here be honest we have ace of wands right here ace of pentacles ace of cups ace of swords is out an ace of swords speaks about be honest to yourself what you truly expect as well speak it out of your expectations don't feel like well maybe this will work or when they when they think will give me that commitment you don't ask your answer is always no you know that loves and ace of swords look at here ace of swords speaking of is in between king of wands and the nine of wands when stop resisting whatever was in the past and be clear of this move you'll understand more and yes we do have queen of wands here this is a very strong attraction between you and whoever is this person so we'll see you tomorrow loves in the new moon many blessings and thank you for watching thank you for being here and yes i try to get it as clear as you can get the message love and light many blessings namaste